What's up, guys? It's me, Kiki Solana, welcoming you to BYUSN right now. BYU women's volleyball and women's soccer continue to kill it. What's new, though? But how are you guys doing? Are you well on this Wednesday? If not, you're about to be. Let go. We have some good news coming from a couple of our WCC teams on campus. Let's kick things off with women's soccer. <laughs> Very funny. Because not only did the girls move up in the rankings from number 20 to number 15, but powerhouse Cameron Tucker earned herself WCC Offensive Player of the Week. She did have four, yes, four goals in BYU's first WCC home game last week. So this kind of makes sense. Continuing with the girl power, Whitney Bauer of BYU Women's Volleyball also earned herself WCC Offensive Player of the Week after recording 81 assists, 12 digs, 7 kills, and an ace in last week's games. Not to mention, she set up six different girls to clip 421 or higher. Really, it's no wonder that this team has become number one in the nation in hitting percentage. Basically, Whitney and the team, they crushed it. To make things even better, BYU Women's Volleyball moves up to number eight in the polls. Our girls on campus, well, they're absolute bosses. I'm gonna be honest, I wouldn't wanna go up against any of them. Freeze in, freeze out. Oof, chills. Now, if all of this hasn't been enough to completely make your day. You are crazy. I've got more amazing content. I think it's about time we do a Wellness Wednesday. BYU football is always great at bringing wellness into our lives no matter the circumstances. In fact, after Saturday's loss, Samson Nakua and a few other players reminded the team to keep their chins up. You know, I think the Nakuas are just great at handling tough times like that. I mean, listen to what Puka said. It's always better when you have a smile. Even through the hard days and the rainy days, if you smile, it, something will turn your way, that's for sure. I love that message. And while the guys are great at keeping a smile on their face, they're also great at bringing a smile to the faces of others through the True Blue Hero program. As a part of Coach Kalani Satake's More to Life Foundation, True Blue heroes are chosen by the team to be honored at practices. Typically, the heroes are children who are overcoming significant challenges in life. Seeing these kids get so excited, seeing their eyes light up when they're around the team, it gets me every time. I love being associated with a program that does that. Now I mentioned BYU women's volleyball has been killing it on the court, but they're killing it off the court too. In this post, the girls are seen planting pink tulips in memory of Gay Merrill, a former BYU athletic trainer who passed away of breast cancer. Seeing our athletes support Breast Cancer Awareness Month in this incredible fashion only makes me love them more. My heart is full. I told you guys, so much wellness in this episode. Thank you for hanging out with me on BYUSN right now. Go give us a follow and enjoy the rest of your Wednesday. See you next time.